What's up, Markerheads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and it's Trading Card Tuesday. That's right, it's Trading Card Tuesday, and I'm doing an Eevee this time. I really like Eevee, and a lot of people have been asking for Eeveelutions, and I feel like we should probably do Eevee first if we're going to do a bunch of Eeveelutions. So, uh, here we are with a nice little Eevee that I did with some brown India ink and some watercolors, and I used some unusual coloring methods for this, but first, let's show off all of the really cool entries to hashtag Trading Card Tuesday, and if you want to participate, all you have to do is go over onto Instagram and tag your art hashtag Trading Card Tuesday, and tag me, Art by Karen e. Haley, or you can do it on Twitter. I have a Twitter handle, it's Art by K-E-H, and you can also hashtag Trading Card Tuesday over there. And I will go ahead and look for you guys on both these platforms. You can also share your art to my Facebook page, Art by Karen E. Haley, and I will do my best to share that as well. Um, it's, it's kind of getting a little bit spread out, so I'm going to keep it to those three um, uh, platforms. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and then I'm not going to be joining any more platforms or looking on other platforms because I don't use those ones. I just use these three and then YouTube. And it's really hard to find things on YouTube, but um, I digress. Anyway, so all of these were really beautiful and I'm so happy that you guys are getting inspired to draw. Again, I say it every week, but it's my goal to inspire you guys to do something creative and fun and, and do something art related. So when I see that you guys are following the prompt and making something it just it really makes me happy and I really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for participating. It warms my heart and it makes me so happy. Um, anyway, so after talking all about that, I'm gonna move on to the shout out. This week's shout out actually goes to someone who participated in Trading Card Tuesday, and I just want to say a big thank you to. I believe your name is Julian Arts, but if not, then Julian Arts. I do apologize. Uh, one of those I know is incorrect, and I'm sorry for the wrong pronunciation. I'm so sorry. But your art's so amazing, so I wanted to give a shout out. I think you guys should check out Julian Arts. They are a very small channel so far. They have around 17, or not 17, 77, excuse me, 77 subscribers. But they deserve so many more. Their art is beautiful. I really recommend you guys check out their style. Uh, and. They actually participated and posted a video, so if you guys want to check that out, here is what it looks like. It is of Latios. You saw it earlier when I shared the featured um, participating artworks, but uh, I'm going to share it again because it's very beautiful and it reminds me of uh, a picture that I did a long time ago. <laughs> so check out Julian slash Julian Arts <laughs> and uh, I would really appreciate it because I think that they make beautiful work, and I know that they watch my channel. So thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate that you participated. On to talking about the artwork itself. Um, the original piece can be purchased on my Etsy store. I don't make prints of my trading cards. Um, they're so small that they don't scale up. But you can get the original, and you'll be the only person who has the image, so that's something kind of special. Um, I really wanted to experiment with this one, so what I did was I only used a stick to color everything. I did use a crow quill to ink the picture, but I used a stick to color everything, even the areas that are where I used watercolor, I used the side of a stick to color in the picture, and it was really unusual. Um, way to do it. I have used these sticks to ink before. I just, when I was um, just starting out on my own, uh, my husband and I had just moved in together and we had like nothing. So I wanted to start using uh, dipping ink, but I didn't have any crow quills or any type of uh, dip pens at all. And so I went out and found some sticks and sharpened them and used those to ink with. And I love the way that the texture looks, and I really do like the way that um, they make the artwork have kind of a sketchy feel. So I wanted to bring that back. I haven't been doing that in a long while, and I feel like 
Uh, it's actually quite a neat look, so I may be doing more stuff like that in the future. Um, so this leads me up to my topical question, which is, what have you guys used from nature to make art with? Uh, for instance, recently I made a toothless painting with watercolors and I used rocks and plants and I used kind of that printing technique. Um, what I did with Toothless's scales is I put pebbles all over his face and let the paint dry around the rocks and then the dried paint would pool around the bottoms of the stones and it made these really beautiful textures. And I still have that painting actually, which is up on my Etsy store. Um, but I really love the way that it turned out and so I've been really loving incorporating nature into my paintings in a very physical sense. Um, I mean, I always illustrate nature. I'm not much of a urban type of artist. I don't do cityscapes and things like that all that much, but um, actually using nature in my art has been a lot of fun, so I want to know if you guys do it too. I also want to note, since I did mention my Etsy, um, that my Etsy store uh, does have coupons that go out on my Instagram every week, so if you are a follower or would like to be a follower on my Instagram, uh, I put out coupons for the stuff that is up on my Etsy store. Um, and the coupon code that I put out last week expires on the 30th, so there are two days left on that code, and uh, I just want to let you guys know that you can go over to my Instagram and find that code and use it if you would like to. I also am discontinuing some prints on the 30th, so uh, you can see on my Instagram which prints are di getting discontinued, and you can go ahead and um, use that code on them as well, and you can get an even lower price than uh, normal, because I am um, selling the discontinuing prints for a little bit less than my regular prints. So. Sorry about that long spiel about my Etsy store, but I feel like I should let you guys know what's going on over there. Uh, anyway, we're coming up on the end of this video, and I would love to hear from you guys what you'd like to see next in Trading Card Tuesday. I'm probably going to be doing the Eeveelutions. As you can see, I started with Eevee, so any other Eeveelutions you guys would like to see, I would love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing. I know that there's been tons of requests for different evolutions, from Sylveon all the way back to Jolte- excuse me, Jolteon, Flareon, you know, all of them. So I think that there's been at least one request for each of, uh, evolution, but I would love to hear what you guys would like to see next, and if you like my channel, please do subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate all of the subscriptions that I've been getting lately. We've doubled since last year. We're at nearly 2,000 subscribers now, and that's just mind-boggling. It's been <laughs> it's been a crazy year, and it's been so fun. And I've been really enjoying YouTube lately because of all of you guys. You guys have been so awesome. There's so many marker heads out there now. It's crazy. So I'd love to hear from you guys um, what you would like to see me do to celebrate 2,000 or 20,000 subscribers. On that note, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you so much for watching.